Hello, good afternoon. My name is Emerio, and this is a, a demonstration on how to use Figshare, which is a digital repository database where you could store and share your research data with other professionals in your industry or collaborators. So you go to the login page. You first would go to sign up, and you type in your email and your selected desired password. After that, you log in. So you click on login. And then it'll take you to a new screen. You click login again with your login details. So to create a project, it's very easy. You go to projects tab. And I'll just repeat the same one. So create new project, and then you put the title of your project, for example, um, CBD oil uh, for pain management on cancer patients. And then in the description, you would put text here. You could put additional individuals that are in other collaborators here. And under funding, you would put the name of the funding institution, such as the university or government entity that is sponsoring your research work or your name or the names of your collaborators. So then you click on Save Changes. After that, you have created your folder. So in order to upload a data set, you just click on Add a New Item. Then you go to Browse. We're just going to upload a random file. So in this case, it will be a job announcement. You click Open. You can also drag and drop. And then for this, we'll just call it Dataset Example. Here, you can also add multiple names of people that are collaborators with you. In Categories, you select the drop-down menu. And you can, you know, health sciences, whatever. You can put whatever is applicable to your cancer therapy, whatever is applicable to your thing. Keywords, so you could do your mega tags here. So, for example, um, CBD oil therapy for cancer. And you click, you press enter. Then you, you could type in another mega tag, meta tag. Um, for instance, uh, cancer or holistic medicine, for example, CBD oil on cancer patients, and then you press enter again. You can put as many as you like. The description, you could describe your data set, so that's you know, pretty straightforward. And then references, you could add like a URL link. Here you could select the license that you'd like to use. So there's different ones. If you don't know which one it is, you just click on what's this, and it'll take you to a new page to explain what all of these licenses mean, which governs um, the permissions that you're giving people on how to use your data. So you could preview this prior to publishing it. So you could click on preview item, and you can review what you posted. Oh, there's an issue with the internet. Okay. So, well, the idea is you click on preview item and you can review your information prior to publishing it. So you click on publish. Save changes, sorry, save changes and then publish. Jesus, I don't know what to do. I thought I did that. Oh, so yeah, you have to select what is it, so let's say data set. So that's good. There's these features that you have to select. You have to fill in each field. Then you click on Publish. Save Changes. Then Publish. No. Oh, Lordy. Yeah, you can't leave anything blank.
going to ask you to confirm. You put yes, publish. That's it. And you have it here under your projects. And you can add more content by clicking on add new content. You can also search for um, information that is related to your research work to add on to your research work. So for example, um, cancer, um, cancer clinical trials or whatever, let's say that that's something that's relevant to your field. One thousand two hundred forty-eight. One minute. Uh, actually, no, more than one thousand. Um, so this is yeah, this is an extensive amount of stuff. So you know, and then you can filter out like other types of narrowing down your search. So that's kind of you know, and that's neat. Um, so I find that this platform is pretty easy to use. And you have the option to make your content either private or public. You can organize your data into folders. Um, sharing with different licenses is pretty easy. And then the me meta tag field just makes it really easy to categorize your data more you know, specifically. So that's it. All right. Have a good one. Bye.